So we're here at the Garden of Unearthly Delights at Adelaide Fringe to talk French. I'm here with Jane Howard, our Adelaide uh, critic. Hi, Hi Jane. And Juan Vesuvius, uh, star of Calypso Nights at Tuxedo Cat. Hola. I think Fringe has sort of reached its peak for me this year, which is a bit horrible for everyone else I'm going to see. Peak too soon? Yeah, absolutely. I suspect that peaking too soon is not a problem for Juan. Uh, how are you feeling? No, I peak every night. Yeah. Uh, the Tuxedo Cat is a beautiful venue, but it's where people go for uh, maybe alternative stuff, the fringe of the fringe, but it's still it's so underground that people don't know where it is. Is there a good range, Bill? I think there's a good range of shows, I think. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the next few years. It just seems impossible that we can keep supporting and growing this many shows. But if people, if there's so much on that people aren't seeing it, I think that's a detriment to the festival. I saw my friend Dr. Brown and Sam Simmons do a short ceremony here at the garden. It was like a sorbet for my brains. Palette cleansing. Wow. That was actually, I saw a ceremony, it was really funny seeing that just because the audience, there were so many comedians. I've never seen that many comedians in the audience of a show. That was clearly the show that all the comedians were coming to see. Yeah, comedians for everyone. Talking of comedy, talk a little about Dave. It's, it's definitely one for people to see. So Dave is the alter ego of a queer feminist uh, performance maker, stand-up comedian, playwright from Sydney. It's just the accumulation of all of the worst comics you've ever seen and he's sexist and he's talking to Zoe Coombs Ma is the artist and she said he has seven minutes of material and has to make it fill an hour and I it's so hilarious and I felt so uncomfortable. There are really some very strange experiences available on the fringe. First of all, is it true that you went to your own funeral? Yeah, just here in the garden at the Umbre Umbrella Revolution. I went to a show called Funeral uh, with my friend Amber, just the two of us, and we were witness to my funeral. It was a maybe 15, 20 minute show. It was completely unsettling and I can't even really explain it in words. And I am very aware, I really want people to see it. They did such a short run in Adelaide. They only did 10 performances with two people in per show. So, so few people have seen it. And from funerals to as nature intended, tell me a bit about Sunday's Naked Cabaret. Okay, so this is a, one of those little uh, once-only shows and everyone is naked. You, you everyone come in and they, they play a countdown and then whew, you take off all your clothes and you spend the next two hours. Uh, and the audience too, you can't get audience, in if you, if you, yeah. Everyone. A so, lot of uh, nudist colony people come. So there are many brown, everyone brown, very <laughs> relaxed. They bring their own little towels to sit on the chair because they know they get a sticky. Uh, How did it go down? Very oh, good. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I think every fringe needs one of these. Let's it's get this to Edinburgh very, as soon as possible. Very liberally. It has been I mean, in chilly Edinburgh. though in Edinburgh, of course. It did it in Edinburgh. They did it last year. That must have been a different experience. Yes, yeah. because not a big nudist colony scene in Edinburgh. How do the different city festivals compare the city fringes? Adelaide is super long. Like Perth is only a couple of weeks, and like Perth is a new new fringe, so uh, people are still very excited about it. And they, 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 I think they have a bit more money in Perth as well. Yeah. So they go fringe, wah, and they just go to everything. I remember one night, every single show had sold out. But uh, here you have five weeks, and there is the the, the big like pit of doom can happen to you in Adelaide. It's a good place to test out new ideas so that you can hone it, then hit Edinburgh and have the good good run. Um, and in Edinburgh you get, I think you get the best selection of the weirdest and the most hidden gems because it's all over the world. And uh, I, I've seen that my, my favorite stupid, crazy, dumb stuff has been at Edinburgh. People like Dr. Brown will come to Adelaide with no show and he'll build it up night after night after night and then it's, it's really exciting seeing a show that, you know, when he goes to Edinburgh he'll have a show but we saw him just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. On that kind of note, I think that leads into my pick of what I've seen at the Fringe, which has to be Bryony Cummings. Her new show is one that she briefly tested in Perth that's pretty much brought here in its, in its first full form. It's a show she's made with her boyfriend, Tim Greyburn, and, it's, and it tackles the subject of his depression and how it's affected their relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Full of love. Absolutely, absolutely. Bursting with it. So what about you? That's one of my picks, and then the other one has to be funeral. That sort of in, interactive work. I mean, so much on Fringe is interactive and it's people coming at you, but 
the amount of care and effort and I just, yeah, I'm still wordless about it. It's been a week, so absolutely amazing. It goes without saying that we want to send people to Calypso Nights, your show, at 9.45 at Tuxedo Cat, but if you were to pick one other show, what would it be? Uh, well, uh, Dave. I would say Dave. I love to see when uh, people use a show to make a very good political uh, stabs. And I think this is, Dave is the best at this. Candied bacon and popcorn chicken burger served with beer and tomato chutney, mustard aioli, and slaw on brioche. And why do you think 